Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Into this video, I'll be answering frequent asked questions, okay? Questions that people uh, mostly ask on the channel, okay? In the comment section, we're actually going to answer them. So make sure that you remain tuned till the end so that you can master this. This show how much we do care to our viewers, okay? We actually here to assist. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, for the first time ever, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also consider dropping us a comment below. Before moving further on, I'd like to inform you that uh, we hosting or we do have a face-to-face -face training, okay, on the 29th of October. The training will be taking place in Bramfontein. The physical address is 96 Jolison Street, Bramfontein, Johannesburg. Okay, for you to book, you can consider booking on our WhatsApp line, which is plus 27 73 Okay, the product list we're looking at dishwashing liquid, pine gel, bleach, thick bleach, and any any. Okay, come get the skill, this will help you to take your business to the next level. On the training cost is 3,500 rand, which is equivalent to 200 US dollars. The payment method are displayed on the pamphlet as you can see on the screen. That's it. Let's get back to our main topic, okay? As I said earlier on, into this video, I'll be answering the frequent asked questions. This is part two of 10. You can check in the description, you'll find links for other parts okay each part has three questions here we go with the first question most people ask why is my dishwashing liquid cloudy and how to fix this our answer is due to excessive salt salt is the thickening agent but more than required of the amount of salt will make your mixture to lose thickness at the first place and then become cloudy to fix this, slurs can be added gradually until the mixture gains its thickness and the cloudiness will go away. Question number two, most people ask what is metal? Metal stands for sodium metasilicate. It's used as whitening and bleaching agent in detergent and cleaning products. Question number three, most people ask what is STPP? STPP stands for sodium tripolyphosphate. It's used as anti-deposition agent. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, okay? And make sure that you subscribe to the channel. As I said earlier on, consider booking for the training. It's taking place on the 29th of October 2022 which is next month okay the physical address is 96 jolly Saint street Bramfontein, johannes Spain. for you to book on the training you can talk to us on our whatsapp line which is plus 27 73 96 10 or on our email address which is nuna ben at gmail.com thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and see you on the next video